In this video, I'll walk you through how to texture, light, and finally composite a car in Blender. If you haven't seen the modeling part yet, be sure to check it out in the playlist. Switch the renderer to cycles and set the device to GPU compute. Lower the maximum samples to 32 and 64, and set light paths to fast global illumination. Enable Simplify and set tile size to 512 to speed up rendering. Set the look to medium high contrast, and the render settings are all done. In the Preferences window, enable the very useful built-in Node Wrangler add-on. I'm going to split the viewport into three sections, Render Preview, 3D Scene, and Materials. Add an HDRI environment texture to light up the scene. I'll leave all the links in the description. As for the camera, decrease your focal length to get a wider angle of view. Set Passepart out to 1 to speed up rendering. Now that we've finished tweaking the camera, let's move on to the materials. To make this concrete material is actually pretty simple. Load a roughness texture and plug the color into roughness. Add a normal texture, link it through a normal map node and connect it to the BSDF normal input. The texture looks a bit large, so I'll introduce a value node to adjust its size. Add a color ramp node to adjust the roughness. Drag the black stop slightly to the right. Now the concrete looks smoother. I'll change the base color to Ferrari red. Then I'm going to drag the metallic value to something like 0.4 and reduce the roughness. And then I want to crank up the coat weight all the way to one and copy paste the base color. To make the windshield glass, turn the transmission weight all the way to 1, then add a transparent shader. Next, mix these two shaders. Then search for a light path node and an add node. Plug the is shadow ray and is diffuse ray into the add values. And connect the add value to mix shader factor. Now in the 3D viewport, Press Ctrl-B and drag a box around the windshield. Turn on Render Preview to see that the glass looks translucent. I'm going to pick the glass mesh. With the windshield selected last, press Ctrl-L and choose Link Materials.
Now I'll look at UV unwrapping here. With these edges selected, press U and choose Mark Seam from the pop-up menu. Straighten the edges of a face. Switch to face mode. With this face selected, press L to select all faces, right-click and choose Follow Active Quads. Similar to how we created the ground material, add a rubber material to the tire. The texture is a bit too large. I'm going to scale up this UV island for the desired look. Add a plane for the Ferrari logo. Load the texture and connect the color to the base color and the alpha to the alpha input. Now that we are done with the materials, let's move on to lighting. I'll reduce the world environment value to 0.1 to achieve a low-key effect. So first, add an area light as the key light and place it at the car's rear side. Then change its shape to a rectangle to cover a larger area. Now duplicate the light and this time place it at the front side. I'll add a third light, which serves as the back light. The front side of the car looks a bit too dark, so I'll also add an area light to illuminate the contour lines.
All right, the lights are set. Now enable viewport denoising and set light paths to full global illumination. Since there are no volume fogs in the scene, I'm going to decrease the volume to zero. Add an empty object and set it as the parent of the camera. I'm going to rotate the empty to preview the animation. I'll use light linking to disable the area lights from casting shadows to the floor. Move on to Timeline. Insert keyframes to make a camera loop animation. To perfect the animation, I'm going to set interpolation to linear. Set the layout to compositing, search for a glare node and put it in between the render layers in composite. Then switch glare type to bloom, crank up threshold to decrease the effect. It's really important not to overdo it. Finally, set the render destination and format, press Ctrl F12 to render the animation. That's all for today's tutorial. I hope you find it helpful. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you in the next one.